Raise your hand if you spent a little too much on Amazon Prime Day. <laughs> If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm going to do a huge unboxing of all of my Amazon Prime purchases. What did I buy, you ask? You know, I really don't know. So we're going to find out together. Lightning deal after lightning deal. Next thing you know, you spend about $1,000. So I have a lot of things to unbox and share with you clothing, accessories, beauty, games, baby stuff. It's a bunch of random stuff. Like, did I really need iridescent metal boba straws? Yeah, yeah, I did. So without further ado, let's get started. Item number one is this workout outfit I have on right now. Okay, I'm too tall, but here's how it looks. Really cute and it comes in a bunch of different colors. I love that it has some padding in here so you don't have all the nips out if you don't want to free them. It comes in a bunch of different colors. It's stretchy, comfortable, and now I'm going to go back and order like three more colors. And of course, I'll be linking all these products below in my description box. So note that I do get a little commission if you buy something from my store, so it does help if you actually click my link versus just going to Amazon on your own. Thanks! Next item, more workout pants. These are called like naked feeling leggings. I think they're supposed to feel like Lululemon without the ridiculous Lululemon price. I haven't tried these on yet, but they do look very similar to my Lululemons, but not as soft. Like look at the back, it looks basically identical. So I think what I'm gonna do is to save time today, because we have a lot of things. I'm gonna do a separate part two video of me actually trying on all the clothing items that I got. I also got two sarongs for the summer. Okay, I'll try on this real quick. So I'm just gonna tie this on. Just a little swim cover up. Boop. It'll be cuter, you know, in a bathing suit. So I got the white one and I got a black one as well. I got two of these for $10. Next item is another workout set. These little cheetah print shorts, which are really cute with the matching cheetah sports bra. Oh yeah. So I got this little set for 20 bucks. It was on sale, but even right now, I think it's only like 27, so it's still a pretty good price. Since summer's coming, I also got some summer wear. So I got these cute polka dot flowy pants with the matching, did it come with earrings? Oh, well, that's cute. I didn't even order these came with some little earrings and this top that you just tie into a little bow, little tube top. So that's going to be cute coming to the gram soon. I also got a swimsuit, more cheetah print. Can you tell the Scary Spice was my favorite? And a tube top top to match it. Hashtag no tan lines. And I obviously must have been in a cheetah print mood because I also got some cheetah print shorts. These are just really comfy lounge looking shorts. Now let's do some accessories. I have been eyeing this purse from Aldo for literally years. I just never wanted to pay the price. This purse is $65. It was a lightning deal. So I think I got it for like 30 bucks. It was about half price. So I finally gave in and got it. It has a chain strap. It's pretty spacious inside. It's really nice quality because it's Aldo. Obviously I'm a little obsessed with Aldo. It was a great deal and I'm glad I finally got it. I also got a bag for my laptop. I have been risking it all, just throw my laptop left and right. But now that I'm hoping to be traveling again soon as things are opening up, I needed a travel case to safely stow my laptop. So it's just a standard case. It only has one little pocket here. I just wanted something cute. I finally swapped out my Apple Watch band for this cute gold one that I also got on Amazon. So I wanted to be able to switch it up even more and I got this three pack of scrunchy looking ones. So they look like hair ties, black one, cheetah print and pink. You decide it on there and it's a little bit more comfortable than this chain one, I'm sure. And even though I didn't get this one on Prime Day, I will link it in my store for you as well. Okay, I went a little ham on accessories. I got four different pairs of shades. All these were like eight to $13. I'll do a quick little try on for you right now. So I got these little cat eye snack situation. Then I got more cheetah print because I'm a cheetah girl. Polarized, very cute. Then I got these two that are basically the same but have different bottoms. So this one is the solid black, same type of cat eye look 
And then the same one with cheetah, more cheetah print, on the bottom. I'm telling you guys, I used to be obsessed with cheetah print because of Scary Spice. If you know, you know. Beauty wise, I also got a big bag of beauty blenders. I actually haven't even tried these yet. I'm very particular about my blenders. I actually prefer the brand Beauty Blender, but let's see how these makeup sponges feel. So I got 10 makeup sponges for $8, where the actual Beauty Blender brand is $20 for one. I do believe that not all beauty sponges are created equally, but I'm really bad at cleaning them, so I just needed to buy more so I could use them and throw them away without getting like a rash on my face. So that's a pretty good price. I'm gonna try them out on my next Foundation Friday and we'll see how they do. Now let's talk games. I am a huge game night fanatic. I am the friend that always has game nights, invites everyone over, has the funnest games, makes people laugh. Now I have all of my favorite games are already in my Amazon store. Make sure you check out my current faves. But I did get three new games that I've never played before. The first one is called Whatever, a party game of awkward situations and embarrassing confessions. This is recommended by my friend Brandy because I asked her what is a fun game to play at a bachelorette party, which I will be going on next week, which will probably be about two weeks after by the time you see this video. Basically this seems like it's like a crazy, truth or dare type of situation. And I bet it's even more fun after a couple glasses of tequila. Showdown, here's your showdown card. Here we go. Read what it says. I got is called Off Topic, a game for those slightly off. So when I read the description, it seems like it's exactly like categories if you play that game where you roll the dice and then you have to answer all these prompts with a word that starts with the letter of the dice that you roll. So let's say I roll the letter B. Blank made me do it, so I could put beer made me do it. Cities, I could put Burbank. Terrible baby names, Bobo. So you go through the whole list, writing down a word that starts with that letter. And I'm pretty sure that you don't want anyone else to have the same words as you. And then no one else has your answer. You get a point. And the last game I got is called Telestrations After Dark. This is basically telephone meets Pictionary. I draw something, I pass it, then the person has to guess what I drew. Then they write down what they think that I drew, and then the next person has to draw that person's guess. And the pictures are usually so horrible, and the message gets so lost <laughs> that it's hilarious to see where it started and where it ends. But that's the regular telestrations. After dark, it's probably a little naughtier. Oh, just read some of the examples on here. So the after dark cards, for things that you'd have to draw include kissing cousins, man eater, cut the cheese, happy ending, urinal cake, what is, money shot, multiple orgasms. <gasps> okay. You know, this might need to come on the bachelor party too. So I have a lot of fun games. I should share my game cabinet with you guys one day. Let me know if you'd be interested in me doing videos on the games that I play and like teaching you guys how to play, showing you footage of me playing with my friends so you actually have fun games to play at home. Let me know if you'd be interested because I love it. Speaking of bachelorette party, I also got some little sashes for us to wear and prance around the city. Designated drunk, misbehaving, Dancing diva, bad influence, selfie addict. I probably will wear this one. Oh, maybe I wore this one. Hot mama. So these are just gonna be fun just to wear when we go out to lunch and dinner. Now let's talk about boobs. I don't have any. So I bought some off Amazon. <laughs> these are little like push-up suction cups that can kind of just help fill out the bra for us in the itty bitty titty committee. I also got a whole pack of nipple covers. So it came in this little case. Look at this. And then it came with, I don't know, maybe like 10 pair. So I like this little traveling case because I just throw these around and they're just like sticking on top of random things and my husband gets confused as to what they are. But nice little pack of nipple covers and some push-ups for us with no boobs. 
Now let's talk about the most expensive thing I got. Royce and I gave in and finally got a shark, a cleaning robot vacuum. This little guy, which we named Baby Shark, will just clean my house for me. So every night, this will just roam around, sucking up all the dirt and spilled baby food all over the place. And then it actually goes back to the dock, charges itself, and empties itself so I don't have to change the little like cleaning thingamajigger for 45 days. So it's like having someone vacuum my house every day and I don't have to empty the vacuum for 45 days. That's amazing. So the regular price is $600. With the lightning deal, we brought it down to $319. Then with tax, it came out to $350. So it's a very high ticket item. We definitely got a good deal on it and it is working out amazing thus far so i think it is worth the splurge i also got these this is very random it says as seen on tv so that's how you know this came from a random source but when you're carrying all of your groceries in from the house you don't want to be a punk and take multiple trips to the car right we try to take as many bags as possible and then we have all these blisters on our hands now you could just slide all of your bags in here and you can hold a bunch of grocery bags all at once genius i do blame those TikToks. they're like five things you didn't know you needed on amazon and i'm like you're right i didn't know i needed all those things and honestly i'm thinking about making those videos myself so um follow me on TikTok at ms bianca renee Next random thing that TikTok made me buy was the Revlon oil control on the go. So this little oil absorbing roller, my little shiny, oh, it's a little shiny. Let's just try it right now. So this is made from real volcanic stone. Apparently I could just roll this on my face and it'll suck up all the oil. Wow, before, after, it works. I'm definitely more matte on this side. Let's see if it gets up the oil here. Wow, magic. Yep, gotta do a full video on this one. Linking this down below, because now you need it too. The only other clothing I got is actually from my child, my baby Jalen. He has a lot of onesie pajamas. All his pajamas are from Amazon. So this one has a cute little rhino on it, spaceships on it, because he likes this astronomy book for some reason, my little scientist. And this one has puppies. So I got the larger sizes because he is growing insanely fast. These are all zippers, never buy somebody Pajamas with buttons, unless you secretly hate that person. Zippers are the way to go. So if you have a kid, they have pajamas for boys and girls in a bunch of different sizes and you get a set of three. Some of the baby items are these little shoes, these little water shoes I got for Jalen's first time at the beach so his feet wouldn't burn in the sand. I also got him the matching little beach hat, which he refused to wear, but would have been a good idea, but my son hates wearing hats. And then I also got some baby proofing lock so you could put these on door handles that go up and down he's mastered opening all the doors so this will just kind of put like a little thing underneath it so they can't open the door and go to the bathroom and dip their books in the toilet based on a true story and i also got him some little window covers because when we drive in the car sometimes the sun is like all up on his face so i can stick these on the windows so the sun doesn't get in his eyes. What else did I get? This doesn't seem like a thousand dollars, does it? It just gets there so quickly. So I think these are all of the random things that I bought on Amazon. Let me know what really stuck out to you. What do you think about buying for yourself? Comment below. All these will be linked in my description box. And then come back next week and I'll show you all the clothing items that I bought, how they look when you actually put them on, as well as a couple items that you might have already seen me post on Instagram that were really cute and affordable from Amazon. If you enjoyed this shopping haul, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.